We're doing SEMA prep right now, and the last thing to go in the car is we have to fix the differential issue. Um, I've been sharing a lot of my axle stubs just because I've been making changes to my driving style, and it's just exceeding the ability for the axle stubs to uh, hold the torque. Uh, what I have is I have a Q45 flange um, that will accept a 300ZX or Q45 axle, which is a lot stronger than the stock 240 axle. And I have the six bolt, uh, six bolt uh, flange on there, uh, which is a much stronger axle. I used to go through about a set of axles for every Pro-Am event, and then now these ones have been on the car for just years. We change them just because They've been on there for so long uh, and just super reliable. But I didn't want to make any changes to the differential, so I'm still using the stock R200 with a 4.09 rear end. So what I ended up doing back in the day was I had the axle stub, I had the stock axle stub, and then I cut them, like right here, I actually have a bunch of these. Uh, so I have the, oh, not organized. So this is what a stock R200 uh, axle stub looks like. It's got the six bolt flange, but it's for a stock 240, um, stock 240 axle. So I ended up cutting right here with a saw, and then I took a Q45 axle, which has the bigger axle stub, but it didn't fit the R200 differential, the stock differential from the 240. And I cut the flange off and I mated these together, which gives you this, this end product right here, R200 axle stub that goes in the stock diff with a Q45 six bolt flange for a stronger axle. So um, because because the usually for the swap, what you need is you need a shorter axle, which is super hard to find. The only one available is the 300ZX twin turbo. Everybody and their grandma's looking for it. So they're like 300 bucks to axle and they're super hard to find. So I ended up, instead of finding the right axle, or doing it with the axle way, I ended up just cutting the phalange to different depth. That way I can get away with a $45 axle off the Q45 that nobody uses versus running a very st thought after uh, 300ZX axle. Also, I can run the same axle for the car. So I don't have to bring multiple axles. I just bring one, they'll go passenger and driver's side and it's a lot more convenient that way. But right now I'm driving so hard and changing up my driving style that they're just sharing these axle stubs nonstop. And we ended up hitting up Weir Performance and they sent us these chromoly ones. That's one piece uh, special designed by them and they're heat treated. I also run their Weir Spool as well, which is this piece of metal here. Uh, it takes the place of the differential. So you no longer have that massive rotating assembly. And also since it's not welded, like I used to. This is a lot stronger product, and it just uh, just a nice, nicer overall package. The less rotational mass you have in any of your drivetrain, the better it is for your vehicle, right? And the faster it revs up, and the more, um, well, I guess not torque you can transfer the wheels, but it's just less wear and tear on your drivetrain as well. So this is a weird spool. If you're running a 240, definitely go check them out. It's not too expensive. It's really easy to install. You can do it yourself, or you can have them do it as well. But these axle stubs, as you can see, the flange differences are all the same. So now I need to make up this extra room with axle changes. So I just end up having a uh, 300ZX that I found anyways, and I've been saving this, uh, hoping to sell it someday, but now it's a chance to actually use it. Um, so this one is gonna be a, be a t 11 inch, and then, the 11 inch is off a Q45. I just bought a bunch of these just to try it out when I was cutting my axle stubs. This is gonna be a nine inch off the Q45, and these are the same. And then this last one, 300ZX, is gonna be a, I think it's a seven and a, seven and three quarters inch axle. So this one's definitely gonna go on the driver's side because it's short, and I'm really hoping that the I can still use the nine inch because I don't have another one, one of these. So this one will have to work somehow. And then that way I can get the car back up and running. But to run the Weir, you would need the 300ZX twin turbo. You, you can find them on eBay a lot easier than you can find them on the junkyard. They're pretty much impossible to find. Um, so yeah, we'll put them back in, go out to the SEMA, 
SEMA with Hoonigan and have a good time and see what happens. So for most of you doing the swap, it's a wonderful swap. You can actually cut it and do it the way I did it to save money. And it's really good as long as you don't drive really like stupid hard. My car maybe puts out 650, 700 and, and you guys know the way I drive it, right? Like right off the red luminator. So that's why the axle stubs are breaking. But up until I changed my driving style very recently, um, th those axle stubs have had nothing, no issues. Even doing FD Pro 2 stuff, these were super tough. They, they never broke and never had any issues. So I would recommend doing it like this yourself. You can save some money and then also you don't have to get the ex expensive axle stubs or, or the expensive 300ZX axles. Um, yeah, so these are good for almost everybody. But if you want to go pro, go with the uh, Weir axle stubs. I'm going to see what they can do. And hopefully I can give you guys some real quick feedback when I run the Hoonigans Burn Yard at SEMA. And I'll run some events here as well. I'll drive it real hard, do some clutch kicks, and uh, hopefully everything stays together. All right, um, more episodes to come. I'll give you guys some feedback with SEMA. I'll see you guys there. Hopefully we talk to a lot of new companies and lay up some uh, really good partnerships for 2020. See you guys out there. Cheers. Oh, oh, hey, before I go, um, the event for SEMA is going to be, I'm going to be driving at the Hoonigan Burn Yard at SEMA Tuesday and Thursday uh, at 3 p.m. So make sure you're there. Check out the car. Check out the driving video. Tag me on Instagram. Okay, guys. Peace out.